Hey writers, it's that time for the new stream video of the week and as you can see it is Booksmart and Booksmart is directed by Olivia Wilde in her directorial debut and stars uh, Caitlin Deaver, uh, Beanie Feldsting, and Jessica Williams and I watched it on Hulu. It's streaming right now on Hulu and before we get into all that don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts, as well as YouTube. And then also like on Facebook and follow on Instagram. Okay, now let's get right into it all and talk about Booksmart. What did I like, what I didn't like, and what to watch for, as well as... Yeah, I think that's about it. That's what I need to cover. Likes, dislikes, and what to watch for. Well, first of all, let's go right, right into the, well. What it actually? What is it? What is the film about? The books. Booksmart takes place on the eve of graduation, and uh, best friends, um, played by Caitlin Deaver and Beanie Feldstein, they realize that maybe they haven't experienced high school high school like they want, like they should have, and they're trying to make up this last day of high school before graduation um, to to hit that mark. And so, like all high school movies in that, hate hijinks ensue. So, um, well, what did I like about this film? Well, first of all, what I liked was I liked the way they set up how the movie was going to flow, how it was what what was going to grab you throughout this film right in the first act which i really like i mean sometimes um uh, morals and uh themes develop over the course of the, the 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 movie this one hit you right in the gut um and it's and it's actually visible with one of the characters and that that theme proceeds throughout the throughout the film as things happen each and every time. Um, so I really enjoy that part. I thought that was really key. A really good writing um, device right there, uh, right off the bat. I like that. Um, I really liked the cast. I thought that whoever did the casting just did a wonderful job at finding some of these um, uh virtual unknown actors although i recognized a couple from different things that i've seen and uh mix them in with some of the well-known actors like jason sudeikis or jessica williams well actually jessica william i knew from the the daily show but uh or lisa kudrow um uh you know uh, just mixing them in there um and so so yeah i really liked how the cast really fell into their characters and delivered on those characters. And it was, it was really, really, it just seemed like they never really broke characters. It almost felt like they were that person that was right there. It was really good to see them. It was very, very professional on their end um, to create that. I liked how they developed the different styles of parties that these girls went to. And um, I thought because each one had its own personality and each one had its own style and feel. And, um, and obviously it was also um, a way to pull through the uh, act two. Uh, it, was the, it was the travel from we're out of here to this is where we need to, where we need to go. Um, and so uh, it was almost like a linear path. And I really liked how they, how it was developed for those those styles of parties. And the editing in this film was really really good. Um, I liked how they um, just really played off of how those parties affected the characters. And oh, I I don't know that the editing was so good in this film. I really enjoyed that. And and then the animation scene, which was um, <laughs> unusual and welcome. And I thought that was really, uh, really well done as well. And so, so check, so uh, wait for that. That's kind of a little bit of a surprise. Um, 
What I didn't like about this film was that it was obvious that this was uh, Olivia Wilde's directorial debut. And what I mean by that, and I don't mean that in a harsh scene, a harsh sense. It was just that there, the things that I didn't like about this film were things that you can see that she as a director are things that she can work on going forward. Because to be honest, her first outing with this was not bad. Um, however, there was little things that I didn't like, such as the timing. The timing just felt a little off in some of the scenes. They, some of the jokes didn't land. Some of the, the experienced actors didn't really move or, 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 or deliver their lines as well as they probably could have. Um, and the pacing was sometimes a little stagnant in some points, especially when you're trying to move from uh, where one whole act is just about movement. Um, and it was just, that could have been tightened up. And, uh, you know, you look at other, other films of the ilk, like super bad. I know that this has been compared to super bad. Um, you can tell that there's some movement with that. Uh, so it just didn't, and some of that didn't, didn't hack, didn't land. And there's parts in the writing, especially towards the, the third act where it was, became a little predictable and cliched and I was like you, you could call it right up this right in the stop right off the jump and you're like well you're leading up to this point you you knew that this was gonna happen and I would have rather seen um, with some of the other things that are happening well let's let's go in this different direction but it didn't do that um, and so with that it lost some of its originality with that because it was just like well, you were expecting this, and this is exactly what happened, so, oh well. But anyway, moving right along, what to watch for in this film? Billy Lord, that's all I gotta say. Her character in this film nails it in every scene. She brings an energy, uh, she brings the scene to life, and it's just, and it's awesome, because she surprises even the characters, and I like I thought that was a nice touch. So there you have it. So all in all, I thought Booksmart was okay. I didn't think it was outstanding. I thought it was okay. So um, you can watch it on Hulu right now. Like I said, it's streaming on Hulu. So check it out. You have plenty of time. And there you have it. And that is my new review, my new streaming review of the week. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on all the podcasting platforms. Subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, all that stuff. And until next time, watch something cool. All right, take care, everybody.